What's his name? It doesn't matter. Oh, I see. He's married. I'm gonna drive a cab 20 years and not know people. Hey guys, Society Reviews here my review of the film daddy -O. To say that Hollywood is in desperate need of small to mid-budget movies that diversify their endless supply of garbage is one of the biggest understatements of the year. Earlier this year, Dakota Johnson put herself in a bad situation with the release of the Sony-backed film Madam Web. The actress got herself in hot water with Sony executives who did not appreciate the fact that she was very subtly burying the movie during the marketing phase of the film. A movie that got an overwhelmingly negative reception from critics and audiences alike. Not to mention the star of the movie didn't have very good things to say about it either. It won't be a shock to many to see Madam Web end up on many people's worst films of 2024 list, but the bigger story here is that this leaves Dakota Johnson with her standing in the industry a far worse situation than it was several months earlier. Before the Madam Web debacle, Johnson had already had another Sony film in the can entitled daddy -O. If you haven't heard of this film, it goes to show that Sony isn't too interested in promoting a film with Dakota Johnson front and center right now. daddy -O is best described as a character study of human depravity. In the film, Johnson plays a woman referred to as Gurley. Gurley is picked up at a New York airport and is driven into the city by a cabbie named Clark, played by Sean Penn. By stating the obvious, this film involves a lot of talking as the film doesn't really have a central plot. It's just a story of two people in a cab talking to one another, revealing things about their lives that raise some serious moral questions about how our characters got in this position in the first place. For those of you who love character studies and dialogue-driven movies, this will certainly be a film worth checking out as daddy represents the purest form of cinema that is rarely seen and rarely promoted. Dakota Johnson plays a woman who is at a crisis point in her life due to numerous poor life decisions that led to this point. Johnson's character of Gurley is in an affair with a married man who she has fallen in love with. However, she is unsure he feels the same way about her. Sean Penn is a character who's your typical blue-collar New York cabbie who has seen it all driving his days around the city. As Clark begins to figure out his mysterious patron, the two begin to reveal intimate details about one another that gives them a whole new reflection on each other's lives. The reason why this is a character study on human depravity, however, is because neither character is much like the stand on when it comes to morality. One character is dealing with her struggles having a relationship with a married man behind his wife's back, along with the consequences that come with said decision. And on the flip side, our cab driver deals with life decisions that have led to two marriages falling apart and a few sketchy situations along the way. Clark represents a life that doesn't have much genuine emotion and definitely shows in his character. The story at its core is about two broken people who find one another at a junction in their life where they truly need the interaction of another human being, which brings much needed levity to their lives. With that said, this is not a feel-good story, nor should audiences expect a feel-good ending when it's all said and done. Johnson and Penn carry this movie quite literally. They're the only two characters in the movie from start to finish, and their emotional portrayals eat up an entire 100 minutes worth of runtime. This film is a textbook definition of an indie project. The film is forced to focus on more cinematic aspects of the filmmaking process rather than the over-the-top spectacle of its big-budget counterparts. While it is refreshing to fall into a different world that Hollywood simply does not take very many chances with these days, the audience enjoyment of this film is going to hinge on how they feel about the characters by the end of the movie. This is a movie that is all about the human condition and raw human emotion, and whether the audience choose to identify with the characters or condemn the characters will be a decision solely placed on the viewer. Moviegoers will see themselves experiencing a roller decks of emotions throughout the film, and that alone achieves a lot more than the bigger projects of the industry. daddy -O is certainly a film that is worth checking out and letting audiences come to their own interpretation of how they feel about what they've seen. I give this film a 3 out of 5. Look, at the end of the day, people are people. And people get lonely. 